So this is what I'm trying to pick up. And because the van's in the shop, this is the car that I had to bring. Well, I didn't get nothing. I was able to at least get four short boxes and a couple slabs, the 30 short boxes. He's gonna meet me at my antique shop and we're gonna just buy it right there. It was a good pickup, I'm excited about it. I do think I overpaid on this one. Let's get the boxes inside and show you what I got. All right, first box, we did get a bunch of the specialty marble borders. This is one of the more expensive ones. Unfortunately, the Muppets one wasn't in there, but that's okay. Practically no one has that. That's why it's uh, so valuable. I'll show you those real quick, very nice. I did have two box sets sealed of these Marvel Premier Collector's Packs, which is really cool. You guys know I'm a huge Collector's Pack guy, especially when they're still sealed. Amen. Love that. The only slabs I got, I'll show you right now, they are up for sale. This is a Something's Killing the Children. I think it's a Lee variant, number one. Very nice. And look at this, a Ghost Rider number one very happy about those they will be for sale immediately they'll even be on the next claim sale next up is something that i don't know if i can sell it is very clearly animaniacs number one i can see hidden under that red it's the dc universe logo variant i don't think this is going to be for sale that's really cool We've got the first cover of Captain Marvel Jr. and Mary Marvel since the Golden Age. Some classic X-Men. First Lockheed and Madeline Pryor. X-Factor number one. Second appearance of Deadpool. First appearance of Batwoman. A full run of Infinity War. The last Todd McFarlane on Spider-Man. Mars Attacks number one. Nice. I love that book. Uh, there was a little bit of Golden Age in there, which is really cool. Airboy Comics. And then we've got this Patsy and Hetty. Very cool. Uh, we do have some early, early Silver Age Betty and Veronica. Not bad. A Buffy number one photo cover. Awesome. Darker Image. First Max, Blood Wolf. Nice. First appearance of the Monitor. Crisis number one, Newsy. Gorgeous condition. Adam Hughes, Gun Honey. Hawkeye, first Hawkeye solo series. The Injustice video game adaption, first appearance of Angela, first appearance of Shriek. This could be the second favorite other than the Animaniacs. First Miracle Man, or at least the reintroduction of Miracle Man. First appearance of the Negasonic Teenage Warhead. Why am I finding this all the time now? First Firepower, Falcon. Some really nice shaped copy of the third rare printing of Bane Breaking Batman's back. Warlock and the Infinity Watch, one and two. Nice keys. Uh, just a Harley number one. Sure. First appearance of the Marauders. Newsy. First Defenders Annual. Not bad. Rough condition, but that's okay. Uh, just some sharp looking Shazam. Uh, uh, what do you call Anniversary issue of Avengers. A reprint and origin of Star-Lord right there. Nice value on that. We Live, number one. I think I accidentally had a book under that. Uh, Infinity Gauntlet 3. I actually have two of those. First appearance of the Queen Goblin. Very recent book right there. First appearance of Chasm, or Ben Riley becoming Chasm, rather. First appearance of the Timekeepers. Very nice. First, Miracle Molly, and then the cameo of Miracle Molly that everyone kind of prefers. First, full appearance of Ghostmaker. First appearance of Ghostmaker. And full first appearance and origin and cover of Punchline. Not bad. Here's all the stuff I'm going to be taking to the comic shop. I'll just show you real quick. Some Avengers, Bronze Age, Fantastic Four. First appearance of, who is this, Stunner? Very nice. What was this? Unofficial Spider Cop. Cool. Uh, proposal issue. It's a nice ASM first Malekith. Uh, second Phoenix, I think. Hawkeye quits. This is the classic Kang cover, 268. And I thought I put 269 in here. What's this one? Oop, I forgot to write it down. I forget what that is. Uh-oh. First appearance of Legion. Namor, number one. First appearance of Tim Drake. 
Tim Drake's new costume. Captain Marvel chosen as the protector of the universe. First appearance of the Silver Samurai. There's 269. It just needs a press, but that is gorgeous, especially for a newsstand. I might honestly pop that over to CGC. This is the origin issue that specifically has the outfit's origin. First appearance of Leech. And I think, is this the last one? Pretty low grade, but still a big deal. This is the first appearance of the Black Hand. This little pile is going to go to the antique shop. I usually put about... Lately, I've been putting a fourth, but I'm going to start putting a third of my pickups at the antique shop. All right, and the second of the four boxes, this one's looking even better. I'm going to show you the pile that I'm sending off to the comic book shop, my antique shop. We got some nice Bronze Age Fantastic Four. I always like to keep the Daredevil stuff stocked up. That's always very, very popular. Daredevil and Batman always have to be full. I did get a bunch of Flash. Flash is a bit of a slow mover, but that's okay. Uh, always good to get in. I always liked that cover. Very nice. Nice additions to the shop. I usually try to keep it pretty well stocked, but I'm actually expanding. So I'm going to be putting a lot more stuff in there. Here's all the amazing Spider-Mans that I'm going to be putting in the antique shop. 51, 153, 155, 161. And I'll put that in the claim cell. What the heck? I already put a sticky note on it. Uh, random ones. Action Comics. Beef up the Superman. I got even more Flash. And then, look at this. Look at the sheer amount of Bronze Age Detective Comics we got. I have to rebag and board all of this stuff kind of ran out of time to get a bunch of Captain Marls. Uh, the 50 is actually a key. A bunch of those are actually keys. And literally just detective comics, detective, detective, detective. And it's like mostly 20 cent stuff, some 25 cent, uh, even some 15. Wow, these need new bag and boards. Yeah, so this is going to be a really nice addition to the shop. I always like having my Batman stuff fully loaded it is absolutely the best seller for the antique shop so i always have to keep that strong let's move on to show you what's going to the claim sales oh real quick this first appearance of invisible man is perfect that is the only one out of all this i'm sending to cgc all right so this is the stuff going to claim sales we have a decent copy of the first invisible man some awesome bronze age horror the first team up of Werewolf by Night and Brother Voodoo. Just some more Frankensteins. Condition totally is an interesting range here. Uh, you got all kinds of stuff going on. Ghost Rider. First appearance of Gaia. We got a classic bondage cover right there. First appearance of some Sorcerer. I forget. Costume change one. Man, I love this cover. Wow. First appearance of Lyra. Her stalker. Gorgeous bronze stuff. This is the, what's it, San Jose version of that book. Ms. Marvel, number one, Beta Ray Bill. We have some Spider-Man keys. I'm doing a bundle. This is the first reappearance of the black suit. Uh, you all know what that is. We've got some classics here. These are going to be hitting the claim sales, possibly this weekend. Crazy concentration camp cover. It does have color loss, though. That means it was, I think, in someone's window for a couple years or something. Some of the bright colors were missing on that. First ROM, nice. And then a full run of uh, Maximum Carnage. So that I'm actually going to keep that together. I'll probably move it as a bundle. Nice box. Let's keep it going. All right, I do have to pick up the pace on this box a little bit or else this video might not release in time. We got an X Factor number one, a uh, new stand Excalibur number one, Kingdom Come number one, Justice League 13. What's that first Maverick or something? I always forget. I think that's a Phantom X key, Death and Phantom X. I forget. Justice League double sized, issue 25. Some gorgeous. House of Secrets right there. Spider-Man's denied entry into Avengers. Chapter 1, Issue 1, Back in Black. Some stuff that I have to look up. I didn't have uh, 
full time to do my usual investigations on this pile. But Micronauts, number one, very nice. Couple solid looking adventure comics. Always had such good art on them. Some Brave and the Bold. This was a, a duplicate of a book that was just in there. Old Man Logan. That looks familiar, but not enough to say off the top of my head. Okay. Some Guardians. Wow, look at that. Black Bolt number one. That book's actually got some nice value. Pretty nice looking book right there, too. Oh, this is a first appearance of... Uh, oh, I forget. That's okay. Edge of Spider-Verse. This is uh, something like the second or third, maybe even the fourth Superman Flash race. DC Comics presents number one. First Stormbreaker. And we got a little bit of... Uh, Valzad action. The marriage of Bruce Banner. Uh, Tim Drake becomes Robin. We do have the first Lady Deathstrike here. Very nice. And one of the plat covers for Moon Knight. It's always a good seller. We got a Cable 21. I don't know anything about that. I didn't think there were any keys in that run, but I'll take a look. Thor... Now, this is really cool. We have a Batman 1989 annual. Now, if you notice, it has the DC Universe logo. Now, the DC Universe logo mainly happened between 94 and 95, uh, but it did go later and it did go earlier. So it's pretty bizarre to find it this early. I'm curious to know which pack this came in. I have to do the research. I think that might be one of the rarer ones, though. That's for sure. And just some other stuff that still has to be... Sorted. Some duplicates. That's okay. Newsy. First Midnight Suns. Not bad. Nintendo Power exclusive of Killer Instinct. Ash can looks like. Pretty neat. And the rest of this, just like that pile I showed you in the last that's going to the shop. All these Supermans. I'm going to be completely stocked up. Avengers, Superman, Iron Man, Action Comics. All that good stuff is going to go to the shop. Actually, you know what? I should bring this new stand first appearance of Nebula to the claim sales. Superman is one of my best sellers at the actual comic book shop, my antique shop. So Superman, Batman, and like Daredevil and a couple other kind of oddball ones like Howard the Duck moves really well for me at my antique shop. I actually have to refill that constantly which is interesting. Yeah, a bunch of Superman action comics, Justice League, 20 centers, all of it needs new bags and boards. I have to tilt them up just so you can kind of see what things are here. Superman. Avengers moves steadily. Thor is a decent mover for me too. Captain America is a little slow. Uh, of a mover. I don't know why. For some reason, Captain America, I also feel, doesn't move that fast at my claim sales. So I think people are not too many Captain America collectors out there or something. I don't know. It's fun, though. And I believe there was some Iron Man in here as well. You can see some Justice League right there, some more Cap. More action. I have to check my boxes at the antique shop of the Hulk. I think that one's either a key or like considered a classic abomination cover fight right there. And the rest is just Iron Man's. I don't think there were any keys hiding in there, but not bad. Let's show you off the final box. Last box. I'm going to go through this really quick. All these G.I. Joes, he actually threw in just as a sort of like parting gift for the collection. This first Magic the Gathering comic book, I got so many of them. And they are all CGC ready. They look like they don't even need to be pressed. Got a bunch of the Power Ranger number ones, first Power Ranger comic book. Punisher War Journal. Punisher number one. Ooh, value there. We got the Silver Surf Human Torch book. All kinds of stuff going on here. We have a Moon Knight number one. Is that a... That's a direct edition. Okay, we got a House of Secrets. Secrets of Haunted House. Excuse me. 
Spider. When we got some more magic in there, with some wild cats, first appearance. I think there were a couple of these Mask of Phantasms in there. Uh, that's that uh, Batman Beyond book right there. Is that the first Maria Hill? I might be wrong on that. I have to look that up. Black Hammer, number one. Very nice. Now, this Cherry Pop-Tart is fun because it's actually like a risque version parody of Cheryl Blossom, which is pretty weird. Um, we've got one and two in there. Nice value associated with those. So that's kind of cool. I like getting the weird, different stuff in. Uh, some various other things in here. Alice in Wonderland. What's that? Death of Soups. Some random Silver Age Flash thrown in. A bunch more Wildcats. Can never have enough of those. Uh, second appearance of Bishop. Some Tencent Betty and Veronica. Uh, Zen, Intergalactic Ninja, Batman Spawn, some Final Crisis, some smaller connecting cover keys, another Justice League 13, another, another Justice League 13. What's the Scooby-Doo number one? Oh, the Burger King special. I actually had the Burger King number one of Powerpuff Girls that I got live. Pretty cool. Scooby-Doo. So we got some Scooby-Doo books. We got... Let's see, what's this? Oh, classic. Nice. We do have uh, New Mutants 14, another Dragon Slayer 1. I've been picking that up lately for Starhawk. Nice. Nice early Doctor Strange run right there. First appearance of the Trench. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm good with this. Very good with this. 609 in there? I don't know if I saw it. I don't think I did. That's okay. Uh, there's a bunch of repeats here. And there's another Mask of Phantasm. Another Mask of Phantasm. And that'll about do it, folks. I'll show you real quick the topper on the pile. I think that actually might be one of the first Pokemon comics. I'll have to double check. Once in Future, Oblivion Song... Uh, whatever that is, I'll have to do my research on that. Manhattan Projects, Invader Zim, Hong Kong Fui, and, uh, Red Dawn, or just Dawn, I don't know, I'm afraid that's not my wheelhouse. Tick number four, Watchmen, some Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Adventures, second Deadpool, and is this our last book, A Looney Tunes number two? No, Static number two. Origin of Static, second appearance of Static. Not bad, folks. Like I said, I do believe I overpaid for this one, but it gave me a ton of really good stuff to load up for the comic book shop, or the antique shop, I should say. So come on out, and you'll see me there. Keep on hunting. Make sure to come down to Sentiment Depot Antiques and Collectibles where I'm set up with all of my comics located at 238 West Delaware Ave, Pennington, New Jersey. Open every day except for Monday and Tuesday. Enjoy 10% off from Wednesday to Friday. See you there.